super quick video on how to get started with Platform I.O. under Visual Studio Code. This combination seems to work pretty well. It seems to be well accepted. It definitely has its quirks, but this is the way that I would get started. Uh, the Arduino IDE has big limitations and cumbersome and doesn't have all the code completion, highlighting, etc. that you would expect in a modern IDE, so I would start with Visual Studio Code. Once you have the Platform I.O. plugin installed, you'll see the alien face, and that's where to start. You'll get a menu like this, and PIO is Platform I.O. If you click Open, and then New Project, give it a name. Testing for Charlie. Board select. I cannot ever remember what is the correct board for the M5 dial from M5 stack, so I'm going to just enter anything. ESP32. S3 is what it is. Let's start that from the beginning, but I am going to override this anyway. And the framework is... Arduino. And then finish and it'll make you the basics of your project. It takes a few minutes to download all of the stuff the first time. I have other projects going on here but I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says testing for Charlie, the project I just made, and look at the platform io.ini. This is where it tells it to get whatever dependencies are required, things like that, which board to use, which tells it how to flash and all kinds of stuff. But I've figured out the magic formula, which makes all this work, which I will copy paste in here and then explain a bit of what I'm doing. Platform IO is gonna be the M5 stack stamp S3. That is a board profile that exists in here. That's the default. And this whole section describes that. It's Espressif32. This is the board. Framework is Arduino as opposed to ESP IDF. Um, I found that I needed to do this to get things to flash right and consistently using the latest version of this. The libraries you need are M5 Dial and M5 Unified. Monitor speed and upload speed probably don't make a difference, but I put them in here. And also these board parameters are probably not necessary uh, because they're overridden by something else, but they're in here. So, in the source, in the main, it'll give you the basics of something. Typical Arduino stuff. There's a setup, there's a loop, do stuff in there. So ignore all this information here. This is a debug session from uh, something else I was doing. And let's take the boilerplate code out of here. My function. Just showing you how you do functions in Arduino. So, from another area off the screen, I've got the basics of what I need in order to make this thing work. You need an include for the M5 dial. You need some M5 graphics. And in the setup, you need to begin display stuff. here. Get rid of this. You're just telling it you're using the display and you're telling it the baud rate of your serial. Um, these rates when you're in USB don't seem to matter very much. So then down here in the loop this runs continuously. It's giving me the hint here from another package I've got installed that 
That's really the first thing you got to do. That's probably the last thing you got to do. Let's do an M5 dial dot display fill screen black. And then yes, draw string hello world. This thing conveniently tells me that uh, it's doing the auto completion for me because again of some other package that I'm trying out. But at the zero zero mark, write hello world in white, and it'll use the default font, the default colors uh, of other stuff, and things like that. Uh, let's leave. Let's leave the X at zero. But since this is a round display and it's 240 by 240, uh, we're gonna say that uh, we want to put this in the middle, roughly at 120. And let's see if this works. Now to compile. Uh, first of all, note that it doesn't know about this include. Just because I haven't built yet, I don't think it's got that downloaded. So I'm gonna build the first time. This little arrow up here and click build. Things happen, things get downloaded, latest versions of stuff, all good. It'll take a little longer the first time while it downloads all the stuff and it just takes slightly less future times. It's got to compile all kinds of stuff and I have an error here. What went wrong? I got a bunch of warnings which we'll ignore for now. But uh, here conversion from constant character to loop. All right. Worth giving you the benefit of my suffering here too. When I can't remember the exact syntax for things and I seem to have gotten it wrong, I go back to the M5 stack site and I look under controllers and I find the little round dial and then I get to it here and then it opens another window and it goes here. And then down here, way down, I will say documentation, documents, and in here it has got the link to the GitHub for the examples, which is what I want right here. Going down, 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 only because I've done this a thousand times. M5 dial library, and it opens yet another tab, example. This is what I was looking for, drawstring. And I haven't found a great place to get to the example API documentation, which is really what I want, instead of hacking my way through here. I need a string, I need a width, a height, and that's it. The color will actually get assumed, but we'll set that to white too. So I've used a few different graphic libraries for this thing, and that's why I'm getting confused. So. Let's do that and say it's at 0, 120, and white. Does that work? I'm going to build. Looks good. Okay. Again, this will take longer the first time. It's building everything. Does all this stuff fairly automatically. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so things may look a little different path-wise and so forth, but it's the same general deal. And you'll see this ELF file that it made. This is basically the binary firmware. It tells me how much RAM I've used, how much flash. All this stuff happens. It says, we are successful. We made an image. So I know it compiled and the next step is to deploy to the dial. After some additional mucking around, I've got this to a point that uh, it works. So, again, setup does the configuration, then you're all good. Loop, I've put in some more stuff in loop here. Fill the screen black setting a text size. Without that, the text was too small to be read. And this is the format of drawstring. You can find out the rest of the stuff. Display will do how I like to do it is with syntax completion like a hacker such as that.
and you can have all these. It'll help with the auto completion of everything here, probably. And uh, the delay is in here, which is not my preferred way of doing this, but uh, for the purposes of this demo, it's just fine. And it makes the text scroll across the screen just like this. The other fix that I had to do here is I went through a few different uh, this ESP tool thing, and one of these was crashing my machine completely. I think it was this 4.7.0 version. That for whatever reason, it would like reboot my Mac. Stack crash, equivalent of the Windows blue screen of death. Um, this works 4.7.4. If you don't have this in here. Um, you'll have to press the reset button on the back of this unit every single time you want to flash, which is a big pain. The rest of this file is correct. I will share the source code. Uh, any questions, uh, you know, find me and ask me.